Hi, this is Nat here. I am number four of the 16 children. Um, today I'm going to be making some pumpkin soup for the family. Um, just as the weather's getting a little bit colder, it's actually quite a cost efficient way to feed a big group of people. And I'm going to be making the veggie stock from scrap and everything as well. So I'm just going to show you how we do that today. And also, where are you? Cass. Um, so firstly, we're going to start with this bag of liquid gold right here. So all this is, is a stack of like all your offcuts from your vegetables. So it's got like onion skin, like carrot offcuts, sweet potato, capsicum, mushrooms, garlic skin, all of the things that you'd usually throw in the bin. We're actually going to be using that to make our veggie stock today. So we just tend to freeze all of this. And when the bag is full, then from there, that's when we will make our liquid gold. Also with the leftover Ziploc bag from what the veggies were in, I actually just keep reusing this and put this back into the freezer just to minimize um, plastic waste where we can as well. So once we have those veggie scraps on cooking, we start to prep up our other vegetables. This is a great time to maybe use up any stray veggies that you have. For example, I had two carrots that I wanted to use up and I added them in also. And here are my puppies that can't seem to let me cook without having a little snack as well. So now those veggie scraps have been cooking for about an hour and at this point my house is smelling absolutely divine. From here I strain that liquid out and place the scraps in the bin and to the same pot I add some onion, butter and garlic and then added our chopped vegetables, veggie stock and I did add a little bit of extra water as well and just filled it to cover all of the veggies and then I let that cook until it's soft. Now you could use a handheld blender to combine all of the ingredients, however I only have a smoothie blender and I can't stress this enough that if this is your only option that you let the soup be completely cold first before blending, otherwise your kitchen could potentially wear a soup explosion. So now I have finished blending all of that soup together and just finally I like to add just a little bit of light thickened cream into it just to add a little bit more thickness to the soup overall. Other than that we will serve it up in a bowl and eat it. Okay, so we're all finished now. Um, it's taken us a couple of hours to do it, but it's definitely worth it. My house smells amazing. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to go eat it.